sub knife people back again with more of these knives start you off with a quick look at the Pena X series trapper front flipper M390 blade HQ combo cool little flipper really digging it so just thought to give you a quick little look at it uh, but yeah let's do some more unboxings um, just keep the stuff going I got a lot of stuff to get and get open and uh, want to show you guys so we're gonna keep it moving here and let's do it this comes from Smoky Mountain Knife Works and uh, yeah let's see what we got slow so thank you for the trapper i'll put that here to the side and let's see what we got here uh, some paperwork of course the usual sticker which is dope and some test paper so smoky mountain Put you down. Kind of a big package. So let's see what we got in here. A lot of packaging. There you go. Bada bing. This is what we're working with. So we got a limited edition. And if you can't see that, it's Victoria Knox 2021. We got another Dozier, and we got another Victoria Knox. So let's get into it. Let's see what we got. And again, all this stuff comes from Mount Smoky Mountain. And let's start off with this guy. I think I have already done this one on the channel before. I hope everybody's doing good. If anybody new to the channel, do some unboxings some random EDC stuff and uh, kind of give you some vague specs and uh, every once in a while I'll do an actual review what I call review so this is the farmer no, I'm sorry this one is the Swiss Army 7 I think I put this on a giveaway once already it's pretty much the pioneer only difference is you have an extra little blade there you got your pioneer blade and what else? You have the all back here. So you got that. You got your bottle opener, kind of screwdriver. I think this is even a wire stripper there. So really cool. And best part is for me, it has this cool little saw. So I think the farmer also comes with it. The pioneer farmer comes with a saw. And really like it. I like it because it's uh, centered right in the middle. So you can actually, when you cut, you actually have it right in the middle. So I liked it that much that I got another one. Um, this one I'll be keeping kind of for the collection. Not a limited edition, but the only difference, like I said, is it has a secondary blade from the original Pioneer model. I think that was a bottle opener on that side. Or we'll check right now. Shall leave it out here for now. So that's the Pioneer uh, Swiss Army 7. And then what else do we got here? We'll get into this guy real quick. Um, again, I got another Dozier. We got a couple of other a couple weeks ago really liked them I also saw this color that kind of caught my eye and uh, I thought it would look cool I like my zombie colors green and black mixed combos this one is different steel I think it's pretty let's see here does it say 
not sure. I think it's just the budget steel on this one, not D2. I just like the color combo and uh, also wanted to do some more kind of giveaway knives and kind of throw, these are good little throwing knives. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool combo. It's kind of, I think it's got a little hollow grind right there. Kind of see it right here. So it does get nice and fine behind the edge. Check this out. We're gonna cut a little thick postcard paper. So yeah, sharp out the knot. Nice. So really cool. Works good. Just random stuff for you guys. So that's the Dozier. We'll close this guy up here. Put this one here to the side. And let's get into this guy. I haven't seen any videos on it. Um, wanted to put it out because, um, you know, I've, I've kind of been collecting these limited edition ones uh, for a couple years now. And uh, this year they happened to make the Pioneer, but they actually added, uh, they made it the Pioneer X, which has uh, scissors, I believe. Yeah. So you pause that and it's in an orange A locks. There you go. Nice. So presentation box is a little chewed up. Actually, I like the presentation. Seems like they're skimping a little bit. Uh, this is presentation box for 2018. So you can tell a little bit better better packaging there so not sure why that changed but yeah that's a 2018 color I'll show you that in a bit but yeah now it comes in this maybe because it's a bigger knife but we'll check it out and then you have some kind of information back there so throw that to the side take a look at this baby how you like that Pete Nice, cool, kind of hunter orange. 2021. This kind of crazy old year where stuff's going haywire already. But again, it's only a number, so just got to get through it. So this one again comes with the bottle opener. You have this can opener. And that's what this one didn't have. So that's major difference on these two models. That blade and the regular Pioneer. So you get an extra blade. And I really like this little blade. So yeah, I'll put that to the side here. Actually show you the thickness on these. These are the same set, same in width. Because they have that extra component than the regular Pioneer. And... Let's see, it's got the blade, the regular Pioneer blade, got that. We have the, the all back here. So that's your four basic Pioneer uh, tools you got there. Ooh, shit, almost. Yeah, let's put these away and let's see what's in the middle here this one has the scissors which how do you take it out way in the middle it's kind of crazy it's stuffed in there somehow there we go gotta get right up in there Woo! there's an l nick so yeah that's the difference this one comes with the uh, scissors. I don't know why they changed it this year and went with the thicker, uh, you know, thicker, thicker model. And then with the with the extra scissors, I guess some people like it, but I really wish they would have stayed the same and kind of stuck with the skinnier pattern. And only had two slots. 
see there so it's a significant difference yeah i'm not sure why they went with it but uh, i guess people like the scissors or maybe they just wanted to try something different this year see if it was going to change things but apparently not let's see here let's try scissors out really nice though will come in handy at some point Victoria Knox does make some really good scissors. Yeah, really sharp, nice fine edges. So definitely come in handy, but again, the payoff is you got that extra thickness and probably a little bit more in weight. We'll check that out right now. For those of you that want to know, weights and specifications. So yeah, that's a nice orange hunter. A locks 2021 yeah not too bad of a color I just I'm not digging the three the thickness on that so let's go here let's move on a little bit here again same thickness right along here for the extra utility and let's do a little measurement on that blade here. Let's get this going. Kind of give it to you all in one shot. I'll give you the, let's give you some length here. So here we're looking at about a six and a half inch fully open. Looking at about a two and two, and two thirds blade for cutting. not too bad and then all the way about three inches with that ricasso very nice cool color let's see what else we got here and then again we'll we'll show this one and that is the army seven and what's up here let's get the 2018 edition Pioneer and that's in the red like a berry red so I got this one also and again thickness because you don't have the scissors is a little thinner so let's see what these guys look like together pretty cool some nice vibrant colors there I don't know. The A locks really pops. Let's see what else. I'll take out the Army 7. Right here. Don't hurt yourself like that. Stormtrooper. You know how to use your tools before you end up hurting yourself. Uh, and then we have this is the 2000. 20 the best year in the books 2020 pioneer special edition or limited edition again this kind of nice electric blue check those out yeah pretty cool and then let's go with the uh, 2000 that was the 2018 let's go with the 2019 so this is a champagne color pioneer also nice width again really really dig this size kind of show you what that looks like there pretty cool Got some nice colors. So again, not sure why they went with uh, a different model this time, but uh, I really wish they would have gone with these, but we'll cry about that later. So there you have it. Kind of show you what I got there in a minute. And also let's do 
since we got the dozers i'll bring this one back out again this is the d2 version that i swapped uh, scales with so it's got that forest green and we'll put this guy up since it's here show you a little size comparison there pretty cool so again nice little combo there not sure if i'm gonna do a giveaway with this one i actually kind of like it um, but this one and the other blue one i have will most likely be thrown in on on a giveaway sometime soon or actually you know what when i get to 700 uh, i'm gonna go ahead also and um give away this uh this revo nest too this is the one i've been wanting to put on a giveaway so when we get to 700 uh if we do i'll be giving this one away so right now it'll be sitting pretty and what else that's all i got for openings today um let me do a little quick cut test on this guy let's see how sharp this is out of box so it's pretty sharp I and mean, it's not razor sharp but very good for thicker paper so that'll definitely do and if you don't have your um victorian arcs sharpener you gotta go get yourself one of these too to go get yourself one of those it's a must have um and actually let's do a little bonus here or you know what before we do that yeah let's bring out this baby <laughs> let's tickle some fancies here so here we go let's get the weight on this guy see what it what's the weight difference and again if you guys want specs i put them in after just hit the little triangle thing and drop down the description you'll have the measurements there so this one here 3.2 ounces yeah and the regular pioneer weighs 2.4 so you're actually adding close to an ounce of weight by just adding another pair of scissors which you might or might not need thank you sasquatch and uh yeah so that's really up to you guys if you want the chunkiness in the pocket i got it more just because i'm collecting them and uh that's the main reason so yeah i got these four for the years so yeah, it's 18, 19, 20, and 21. And those are it. And this is the Swiss Army 7. Check those out. Sweet. Oh yeah, and also I forgot um, EDC Supply did give me a sticker. And there it is. So that's where that guy came from. <laughs> And so let's do a little bonus opening here for you guys to keep you guys a little longer. For those that want to, those that don't, you can check out whenever you want. Let's do this guy. And this is obviously from Olight. Let's see what I got. Mm -hmm. Little packaging. I got that. I got this. So I've been trying a couple more things. My son wanted some stuff, so I figured I'd try some new little flashlights. Here's another small one, the i3 EOS. This one I think is just a AAA. I'll show them off at a later date. I'll do a little flashlight. Uh, session or something and I got an extra clip here this is for the i5 I wanted a black clip for that camel one I got the other day and let's see here one more time yep never could towards yourself and this one here is the i3 T2 
TOS in titanium. So it's a smaller little flashlight, but I got one before it was like a limited red. So that's what that looks like. And here's a little flashlight. Yeah, that's pretty dope actually. Wow, it's a good little size. So you put palm size. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I actually like the size. Ooh, it's not gonna start. But yeah, check that out. Nice titanium. Pretty hefty. Nice little stone wash clip. Pretty much the basic features that I'll open this guy out again. <laughs> Let's weigh this baby. See what the TI weighs. Not bad. 1.8 ounces. Pretty good. Let's compare it to another little flashlight I got here. This is one I just have laying around here in the back. It's a coast with the kind of retracting scope there. Pretty cool. Let's see how much this guy weighs. 2.6. So there you go. Fairly, fairly light for just a standard little flashlight. A lot smaller. You can get that coast at like Home Depot anywhere. So yeah, really cool. Like the texture. You can really feel the texture of the uh, titanium. So really cool. Got probably I think it has like double features, but I'll get into it another time. So get this shit out of here. And there we go. So throw a little O light. This one I'll look, you know, probably give this one away. Same thing little keychain light so that's what we got today guys some more unboxings some new limited edition victoria knox some old lights some k bars a little bit of everything so i appreciate you guys tuning in and as usual if you guys uh like what you see tune in for more i'll be bringing some more knife stuff some more edc gear probably and uh that's it tune in and stick around for some more catch you guys on the flip side have a good one